everyone welcome to my channel my name is Runo, creative director of la ruby claudia like you know i'll be showing you how to make this exaggerated sleeve inseam um sleeve dress so i don't know what it is what i do need to call it but that's what i can call it so do have to watch to the end and see how i'm going to do the in the finishing i did full enclosure I like full seam enclosure enclosure there's no seam you, you won't see the rough edges outside okay so like you know i already have a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodies blog so do well to check it out in the description below okay so it's a straight it's a straightforward um a dress so it's just for you to just understand the the simple um, um logic to it okay so now what i'm doing i'm marking now this the, this client is actually very big she's her boss is about 45 and her waist is 39 so her boss span is 10 so now but i don't want to use 10 right so i'm doing eight inches because i just need that front okay to be slanted towards the shoulder so i'm marking four now ideally i should have marked I should have used a boss pan, but it will be too wide. So I'll repeat the same to the back. You can see the back here. Yeah, my back started from my back started from three inches above my waist, uh, my waistline for the front. That's the difference. No, a bust and a back and our front is not the same. There's bust in front and there is no bust at the back, so there should be difference. Okay. So what you need to do is connect from your shoulder tip. Be sure to get the, the accurate shoulder and connect down to the part i marked the four inches okay so now i want to move the dart okay i i'll, I'll be moving the dart to the armhole the waist that we really don't need we really don't need that that side right but i just i just want to move the dart because the dart doesn't change anything too i can as well i can as well just move it so i'm moving the dart to to the armhole i can as well just leave it okay so what I did, I moved the dart to the armhole. Okay. So what I did after moving it, I just tape it down, and then I, I now because that part is open, so I'm going to fill it up. I placed a sheet of paper. I placed a sheet of paper. I tape it down, and I connect. I'm sorry about the noise. That's my alarm clock. It's just telling me it's time for my devotion. So okay. All right. So what you need to do is just connect back. Okay. So like I said, you can do this actually, you can do it freehand, but I just decided to use my body's block because I need that difference, because the difference between the front and the back, you can also do that freehand anyway. So like I, from my center back, I tightened my back and I marked four inches and then connect to the shoulder, that's for the back. Remember I tightened the back. Okay, so what I'm doing now is, is I'm, I'm placing, replace, I'm marking my, my zip, zipper allowance. I, I like marking my zipper allowance on my pattern. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it. You can also always do this on the fabric, but I just like doing Sometimes I just mark all my seam allowance if there is space. Okay, so I just use a ruler and I connect, okay? I connect from the waistline to the neckline. All right, so it's that simple. So that's all you need to do is just to cut out and you have your front and your back ready okay so that's my front that's the back now i'm just cutting out the, the the front okay so this is my front and my back you can see the difference right the difference so it doesn't matter because we're still going to join it at the shoulder now if you don't if 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 you don't um do this that, that's the reason i didn't do freehand for this i need that difference now the difference is quite visible here because it didn't get to the side seam so assuming my assuming my pattern gets to the side it would have matched up because you know my my difference is, is at the side okay the boss that is by the side so by the time i close it it will match up with the side of the front of the back but because there's no side that is why it's looking that different but not to worry by the time you join shoulder together and then you fix your everything's going to match you have a bulge at the back it's very important okay so this is my play sleeve my flay i'm using i'm cutting the flay so you know the formula i'm sorry i actually mistakenly deleted the formula that's the paper you're seeing i i held they already showed the formula but you can check my other tutorial on how to draft um how to cut a 360 degree flame all right so i've marked my length i used my exact length the length of my client is 22 the sleeve length long sleeve so i used the sleeve length including the seam allowance joining 
and the this just the I just exhausted the fabric okay and then I, I will have a band of about four inches so that I want it to I, I want to have a fold on it so that I'm not using I didn't reduce the measurement if not I would have gotten everything 2022 20, but after sewing everything including the band I should get about I should have about 24 25 so it's so when she stretches her hand it, it, it should be able to stretch her hand com comfortably the sleeve will be pulling out right so you mark your radius mark the radius so i use the the wrist measurement that's the wrist measurement that's where that's what i use to mark my radius okay so now the hem of this play is what i'll be i'll be spreading I'll, i'm going to pleat around from the shoulder to the waistline okay so now the this the the radius is my sleeve length so i use my wrist that's uh, the wrist measurement is nine nine divided by 6.2 that's what i use to cut that uh, waist down that looks like the waistline okay so this is what we have by the time you join the shoulder together and you join your bottom everything is going to be perfect okay it's actually very perfect on her right okay so now this is my sleeve okay this is the band i will be attaching to the sleeve this is the band so what i did now the sleeve is quite big okay so the pleats would shouldn't be too much right so i had to reduce the but i didn't touch temper with the with the round sleeve that sleeve part so i just reduced the flay of the measurements right i just reduced the flay because i needed um, some part to cut um, the back side my fabric wasn't enough so i had to reduce the flame so what i need to do is to notch the 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 center back and the the, the shoulder that's the center um the center sleeve up and down like the hem and then the 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 the, the part that will go over the shoulder and the and the part that will be on around your sleeve your your um, wrist okay All right so now this is just me showing you how it's going to be okay from the shoulder that's why you need to notch so that you don't you can spread the pleats evenly on your bodies on between the back and the front if you don't notch the center you may have excess you may pleat more on one side than the other so you need to have an even distribution of your pleats okay that is why that notching is important you notch that center part okay so now this is the sleeve i've attached the band to the sleeve okay you can see the wrist part the part I, I cut out my radius that's the part i attach the sleeve on so this is me i have i've, I've already um secured the underlay to to the main fab to the lace this is sequin fabric and i've I sewed the lining okay so this is the bottom part the bottom part is actually an a-line a-line um skirt okay the a-line skirt so what i'm doing now you know this is, is it's not we just this is the center front of the of our pattern okay so i'll mark be, be sure to notch the center part after notching and you can now notch the center part of this skirt and then you join together yes have you subscribed don't forget to subscribe to this channel please like and share talk to people about our video our tutorial you are quite easy you can always ask questions so be sure to watch to the end so you see how i finished it neatly finished okay yes you can finish your fabric neatly and please don't do this always use a ripper to open your seam lines okay so i'm trying to to match up my zipper allowance the up and the back okay that's the center back and the the upper part of, uh, of the body of the center back to the skirt part so this is me just matching it up okay you pin and then you sew down right that is just it so now i'm doing it fabric to fabric if you notice what i'm doing now, i didn't hold down this the the i didn't hold down the lining so i separated the lining from the the main fabric same thing i did to the shoulder when you are joining the shoulder so you, you, you join your shoulder fabric to fabric and lining to lining okay that's the only way you can get a full and neatly finished um at outfit okay so you can see this is the the side now this is the center front and then our sleeve will complete the waistline you can see that the waistline is just half will be like ah how will how will this thing look like so our sleeve will do the completion of the waistline okay that's why it's an exaggerated sleeve right so now um uh, this is the pin version so I, I i will go to my machine and so but i'm just showing you how it's going to look like so i'll start pleating okay make sure to notch your the, the part you notch on the sleeve you attach you pin it to your shoulder and you start pleating you pleat round to the waist continue towards the uh, the back right so now this is it i've done this behind the camera i i have shown this you can see how i the pleat went around the waist so you continue from that point round to the waist and then you go over to the back okay so this is it 
so i'm just turning it over so you see the inside so you can see how it is now this is the i'm trying to bring out the sleeve you can see the finished part so i already used the lining to cover the seam now it's a sequin fabric it's going to to to, to break my, my it's going to uh, break my over overlocking machine so i i'm not interested I'm, I'm not ready to to repair my overlocking machine so that's like that like i said if you're using normal fabric you can always so and overlock okay but because of the kind of fabric i know i can't there's no way i'll be able to overlock this is going to i'm going to scatter my machine so that i decided to finish it neatly like this and after after doing this i wouldn't need an overlocking machine anymore right so i've done that side you can see how neatly it is and then this other side now is what i'll be showing you right so now you flip your your lining open so you don't sew together with the lining right so like i said you just make sure you you pin your shoulder together so what i will do now i'll go and sew and pleat around and then show you how to turn it with the with the, with the lining okay to uh, to conceal the rough edges right so like i said all you need to do is join shoulders together and you keep pleating join the shoulder to this um join the shoulder to um, the shoulder notch the shoulder point and then then notch the the side that will be on the waist that's the side that has joining you notch it down to your you pin it down to your waist line the side the skirt the down part of your waistline so you can distribute the sleeve the pleats evenly so now this is me now this is how I turn I finish it neatly now you turn you push your fabric inside your lining inside and then push the seam in the seam of your of your sleeve inside and then you pick it from <laughs> I really don't know what way to which best way to explain it but just look at what I'm doing okay so look at what I'm going to repeat it again I'm going to repeat it again for you to see <laughs> okay so just pick it quietly easily it's quite simple but just a bit technical so all you need to do like i said you push it inside push both inside and then you put your hand inside like you push both seam the shoulder both shoulder the sleeve you push the sleeve and the lining inside and then you 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 dip your hand inside and then pick it hold it and then you start so you can also one side down then you you, you come back and then continue from the other side so look at what i'm doing i'm pushing the shoulder seam inside on the shoulder point you need you need both shoulder to align so you can see then i've gonna after make sure they both face each other at the end of the day the right side will be facing uh, the right side of the line will be facing the fabric okay so after pushing it inside then you can now hold it firmly and start sewing it's it's not that complicated it's just if you you can watch this video over again and you can rewind this part and to see how i did it it's quite simple so all you need to do is then you sew down and then you see where i stopped now then you can now turn to the other side and continue okay so i that's the side i turned and then i'll continue so this other side will be will be simple because you start sewing that that, or that other end so it's just to continue from there you see how it is just continue and then you sew remember i've joined the, the skirt part of the lining to it the way the, the you, you, join the way you join the skirt the main fabric that you join your lining and then you continue sewing right once you get to the to the side you continue sewing from the from that part down to your side waist right so when you sew to you stop at your waist point and then you continue from the side and then you finish it up and i started sewing my zipper already and then i just use the lining to cover the zipper so this is it you can see how it is it's quite simple simple straightforward so make sure the you get your accurate waist measure so it will be fitted on around the waist around the waist side okay so this is the full finishing the the, the dress is actually big it, it it will fit my mannequin like the bust is 46 and my mannequin is like 32 so it's not going to fit so this is just it there's no way i could fit it into my mannequin that's why if not it's quite beautiful client love it beautiful and that is it don't forget to subscribe to this channel like our video and share with friends thank you so much god bless you